Hi Simon. Hi Del. Thanks for coming on. Hey Gary, hey Andrew. <coughs> Bit cold here today, windy and cold. Rain this morning, well, a bit of drizzle this morning. So there's all going to be light winds today, but it's a bit more than light winds. It's about 18 19 mile an hour north westerlies. Fishing in wall at Blackpool. First time down here for a long, long time. I thought I'd give it a go today. Ralph, uh, Ralph Holden's down with me and Sandra this morning. Arrived here at uh, Half past seven and start fishing till about half eight, quarter to nine. What would today and squid? Hey, Elaine. You all right, love? Just saying it's cold this morning. Well, it still is cold. It's raining as well when we got here. So I've not been in the water. Not been in water long. Busy setting up, and so it's not warm, it's freezing. Not to put me uh, tripod sideways because of the wind, can't see if we're getting a bite or not. Hey, Pete, thanks for coming on, mate. This one in a minute, it's been in about uh, half an hour. Got in and get a fresh one out. That's a fish seven ounce weights today because it's pulling, it's not holding six ounce. It's a big tide today, uh, 31 foot, it's nine one meters or something. Say, so I've got fish down here for years. I'll give it a go, it's easy, it's straight out of the car. You're getting a slight tap on it. It's got a pull as well down to the left at the minute. The tide coming in. I'll get this one in, I think there's some on this one, I won't be a minute.
Stephen. Hey Stephen, thanks for coming on mate. Microphone because it is windy today. I've got the back of the camera in the back of the car. Well, the picture's all right for everybody in the sound. So, if it's a bite or it's the waves pulling at the minute on the line. It is a big tide today. I say I've not fished down here for years, so I thought I'd give it a go today. You never know. Hey Rolfie, thanks for coming on mate. It's ever for ever so blowing like with the rod straight out, I'll have to bring it to the side. and keep it out of the wind. It's northwesterlies at the minute, it's going to change to westerly after. So I tried six ounce legs but it's not holding, I've ended up with a seven ounce on. I'll have a look at this one in a minute, I'm sure this summer is going to be like a flounder or summer. So oh, it could be the waves in front of me, there is a big turn in the waves at the moment. We can only see. No Ralph was down here yesterday and he got blown off or something, the tide was coming over the wall. It's not as windy today as it was yesterday. The sky seems to be clearing up a bit now in the distance. We've got grey cloud in front of us at the moment. I think it's a pull in the waves up. I'll get it in in a minute and uh, Get another one out. They predict this wind, they said it was about 8 to 14 miles an hour, well, 7 miles an hour this morning it should have been. We're a lot stronger. You know, the big tide is bringing the wind in as well. There's quite a few people down here today. It's a handy place for fishing anyway, straight out of the car. at the moment on my line. Now I'll get this one in folks. Hey Paul, thanks for coming on. Hey Lou, thanks for coming on. Have you seen me post Paul? I did put it on uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Facebook. I was coming down here this morning to Gimwall. Ralph here, Ralph Holden, Sandra. It's a bit of cold though today. I'm going to get this one in and get this other one out. I'm not sure if there's some on this or not. It's tapping away like mad. Could be the waves. I'll get it in anyway and have a look. I won't be a minute, folks.
Hey Tony, you alright mate? I'm over on Gimwall. Windy as hell today. say some big waves out there today. people down here as well. This first one here this morning. Uh, and they all seem to just pop up from nowhere. Did I have a bite then? Busy baiting me uh, the waves because there's some big waves out there. Okay, and the sounds all right from everyone. I'll say everybody is only five on, I think. It's supposed to be brightening up in a bit, so it's going to be bright. <laughs> in about Put 
seven ounce leads on because the six ounce wasn't holding bottom. Just pulling them out for fun. Taking me over to the uh, left hand side where Ralph is. Just to try them. King prawns. No jumbo king prawns. I get a nice place or a nice flounder with them after. Hey Martin, thanks for coming on. Cheers mate, thanks for that. Born and early here at the minute, Martin. We had rain this morning. Seems to have blown over a bit now. The sky seems to be clear in distance. Hopefully it'll blow over all these grey clouds, clear up a bit. <coughs> now said it's a lot better than what it was yesterday. It's coming over the wall or something yesterday. quite a few people to this morning. That was the first day I got here because I've not well I've been down here for a long time. Uh, I had a drive over see where we had to come on. I phoned Ralph this morning at quarter past seven. I got down here, Ralph was here, he was going for his breakfast and dipping down. Ralph came down about half an hour, so he thought I'd never have to meet. About what 10:15 turned up before Ralph turned up this morning, just after I came. Oh yeah, can only give it a go. Looks like easy fishing, no carrying stuff about. Straight out of the back of the car. time I came down here it was the Tony Cod but before then I not fished down here since I was what 21 22 well, I tell a lie I know uh, I fished it with a guy called Keith that used to do fishing eat well that was a long long time ago I know he fished it the once then so in total the times I've been down here I've been fishing this about four times, five times, just the game ball. I know quite a lot of people that come down here uh, that fish in regular. Some of the black pool lads, open lads. Back. That lot of waves, about 
ten yard out. Casting out and it's just blowing it over to the left because of this wind and it's now the snow is channel just in front of me which is about 15 yard out and then the other channel is about 130 I would say looking at it this morning so I'm just this side of that channel so I tried uh, six out sleds this morning but they're not holding the bottom I've had to put seven on it's a bit hard to get out there with this wind some nice bass caught here through the daytime on the wall. The water's deep enough. Fishing spring loaded panels today. Three of looks. Blackwood squid. I've not tried the king prawn yet. In the uh, Pen Fabden 12 bag and the Century Tip Tornado Sport. Go on, it's a slight tap. to fish them at night time instead of the day tides. Is that the Ziplex, Ralph? Ralph, is that the Ziplex? I 
Oh crap. Crap. Oh weed. Soft bottom that isn't it off sand. Yeah. I say we're using your zip flex. No. No, I thought you was on your zip flex. I keep getting on taps on it. But I think it's the waves at the minute. You know it in the line. Well I went back when I thought there might be no big one. No no. Yeah. I'm only about what 110 yard out. <laughs> I go any further and it's Pulling it over to your side, and I'm seven out sleds. Look, I've got the big sleds on now. Yeah, I'll just put that. It's pulling like mad. Pulling like mad. I'll be out of breath watching you walk, Sandra. Just watch what you're doing. Yeah. Well, keep your balance anyway. Seven ounce sleds all in the bottom. It's really big tide. Some pull in the water. Pulling it down to the left. Oh. camera back in a bit because of the rain. It started to rain a little bit again. It rain. I know it's waterproof the foam. Sandra's going back to the old cell. Scrippers on. Over and a half yet before I. Pulling that lead out of the sun for fun. leave it there so we go on I've got another trace baited up ready to go in hey Colin thanks for coming on mate I know a lot of uh, a lot of you will be working today and see what it's like on the gin. Like I said, I've not fished it for years. 
first time I fished it was with uh, Tony Cod, I think that was about two, three years ago. I think they had a match on down here. Uh, with Hooker's Baits. Wouldn't mind giving it a go on a night side just to see what it's like. got to be fish there, the water's deep enough now. It's pulling on the waves at the minute, I'm right at, I'm just at the back of the waves there. Uh, the water when they're coming over it's sitting the line and tapping the line. You can see the rod tip pulling. on the tide. Bouncing about and pulling. Hey John, you alright mate? Thanks for coming on. Nothing at the moment. Right, pulling the tide at the minute, northwesterly wind. Uh, about 18 miles an hour, they said it was all going to be about 7 or 8 this morning. We had rain this morning. Six ounce leads on before, but no way was it holding. Let's put seven ounce leads on. You can see the tip of the rod with it pulling in the water. There's right strong pull on it, it's going down to the left at the minute. Well, Ralph came down yesterday, he said he had a little flounder out yesterday. But uh, there's a little channel in front of us about, oh, say 30, 40 yard out. And the other one's about 130. I'm like in between them at the minute. I'm struggling to get that 130 with the wind, it's just blowing it straight over to the left. So, this fish there, this fish there. Let's see. Not yet, John. No fish yet, mate. This time yet, it's uh, half past 11 high tide. Got another nearly just under hour and a half to go yet. Before high water. It's rough, is it, Ralph? Yeah, John was saying before it was rough. It's rough here as well, mate. It's crazy, this weather, this time of the year. It really is, and then tomorrow it's supposed to all change. All the nice weather's supposed to be coming over. Alright Pete, uh, I'm fishing in Wall today mate, uh, over at Blackpool, it's, it's rough at the moment, uh, we've had rain this morning, windy, uh, high tides at a past 11, I think it's 9.1 metre, 9 metres, it's 31 foot. Uh, Casting uh, seven ounce at the moment, six ounce, and even touching it. 
They're struggling to get it out. As soon as they get it out in the air, the wind's blowing it over to the left. So I'm losing distance with the, with the casting today. So fingers crossed something might come in. I'm about 110 yard out, so hopefully something's been messing about around there. I said to everyone, I've not fished down here for years. That's handy, isn't it? Beach patrol up and down every, every 10 minutes. There's Sandra going back to hotel. I don't know. You can see the tip bending. When the waves hit it, that's the pull in the water. Really big tide. Must be a strong undercurrent in front of us because it's in an half pulley to the left. I'll give this another five minutes in water, ten minutes, and I'll put a fresh bait out again. It feels strange just sat in the back of the car, streaming and, and watching me rod. Having to put my trolley in and tug my gear about with the trolley. Got to put the bivvy up. I brought the bivvy with me, but I'm not had to put it up. Yeah, just one, John. That's all I ever fish, mate. Just one. All I ever fish one. Put big baits on. Lolly him out. It's a while since I've used two rods. Lost a nice fish one day using two rods because I had a bite on one and a bite on the other. I'm trying to hold one and hold the other one and I lost a decent fish and ended up bringing a buddy little flounder in. So I ever use the one rod. It's not that, it's when it's weedy as well, you, you're forever pulling weed off. I know you can have a rod in the water, but you reel that one in, then you're pulling weed off that, well your other one's in, uh, so I, I don't bother now, I just use the one rod all the time. Big baits. I'm using the... Uh, Century Sport today, to Tornado Sport, the uh, Pem Favon 12 mag. Go on. Sun. Well, there is no sun, it's just the glare on the phone. A boom, you can hear the waves at the bottom of the wall. The boom. Sound like cannons firing. Tell how deep the water's getting now when you hear that sound. Tides in. 
Watch the waves at the back. And the, the line. Pulling down on the line. There's quite a lot of people down here today. It's alright, John, any time, I told you that, mate. Just give us a shout any time. It's not a problem. I'll get you bending that uh, sentry what you've bought, mate. It's coming in now, it's halfway up the wall. Got rain coming in now from the northwest. Behind us, rain's on its way over. That's all we need. Tripods. Just pulling that seven inch sled across the sand for fun at the minute. Let's get my phone back here out of the rain. There we are. Hey Stevie, you alright mate? Nothing at the moment. Apart from rain and strong wind. Which is coming from the northwest and not me uh, backside. <laughs> Go on, it's up again. Fishing in wall today, Steve. Over at Blackpool. Not fished it for years. It's a nice waterfoot pass anyway. A bit of colour to it. Keep out of rain because we've got rain at the minute. 
Hey Steve. All right, mate. How are you feeling now? We've not been too good. Cold here at the minute and rain. There's quite a lot of people down today as well. God, I came early this morning. Just after I got here, there was quite a few people coming down. Some probably not water. Really deep water now. It's a good what oh, 12 foot, 13 foot right in front of me. And we've not got high tide, uh, I've passed 11's high tide. And if I was saying it's not as bad as it was yesterday, it was coming over the wall yesterday. This time yet because uh, we've got nearly an hour to go. Oh, that's good, Steve. So I've seen Peter's uh, thingy on the uh, on the site. I didn't even know that you'd been uh, been in hospital. I'm glad you're feeling better now. Get it further to the left because it's going northwest and it's blowing the tide down that way. So whoever's down at the bottom end will get salt. Just heard somebody shouting, I don't know if they've caught anything. No, I've got to uh, Ralph Holden, Ralph Two's in front of me, Steve. Sandra was with him but she's gone back to the uh, hotel. I did put it on, I was coming out, uh, I think it was last week, or the week before, I put it on, I was coming out. Didn't predict this wind today because they said it was only going to be, uh, we'll do. Will do, Steve. You'll not hear me. He's a bit up in front of me, mate. If I shout him, he'll not hear me. I'm sure, I'll just had a tap. That wind dropped him perfect. Might calm down a bit once the outside comes in. Top somewhere, Steve, talking to somebody. Yeah, we will, Steve. I was over at the uh, doctor's on Thursday. They've upped all my medication and everything. Uh, said there's no they can do now, that's it. Uh, I'm on strong steroids and God knows what else and nails have been changed and, uh, and damage is done. One of them things you can't do anymore. I'm going to try and get over to Mum's as well sometime next week or the week after. I 
need to get over there because she's had another fall so uh, I need to get over and see her have a ride over and see mum but yeah we will we'll have a catch up Steve definitely deep water she's waiting for uh, a scan on her head Steve uh, but she's forgetting things as well now she would have been last week uh, she's forgetting things and my brother was over there on Sunday which was a bit of an help uh, it's give me that bit of a leeway in between. She's waiting to go for the scan now after that last fall she did when she hit her head on the table. Since the fall she's not been right. So that's well that's a sort of go on. Get it again. Just had a tap, just had a knock on the rod. Go on. Dogfish or something. Last time I came here for the first two hours, there was nothing but weed everywhere. Steve, yeah. He went over on uh, Sunday. He took presents over what he had for her from Christmas time. And I'm glad he's been now because he'll, he'll see what's been going on and how mum is and everything. Just thinks I've got a sister that lives not five minutes away from her, not seen her in ten years. For the rest of them. None of them are interested, they don't seem to phone, well they never phone her. You know a phone call won't go and mess off any of them but no. I'm not really interested. Come on fish, I just had a nice little tug on it. There we go again. Get this one in a minute, I'm sure there's some on it. You should, Steve. So I keep saying, mate. Should be ashamed of themselves. Let's tighten this line up. I'm sure there's some on this. Rain's come back again. Coming over from the uh, northwest. It's the uh, Tip Tornado Sports, Steve. It's had a full rebuild. It's got. It's even got my name on it. <laughs> uh, 
lovely rods, I love them. Hey Dave, you alright? Thanks for coming on mate. I'm fine, thanks. Cold and damp at the minute, Dave. Cold and damp. Sorry, falling in there with the... Uh... Yeah, Steve, I, I love them. I've had sentries, I've had most of the Ziplex. But I've always gone back to the sport, don't know why, I just love it. It reminds me of the AWB and the uh, AWT day was very similar. I'd have still had mine, uh, but when I was speaking to Paul, you just can't get the uh, tips for him anymore or book sections or anything. fall every day because they was doing the STSs I think it was on computers they wasn't being uh, tested and God knows what else but I'm going back uh, it must be what ten years ago I designed a film a video for casting on the TV and uh, yeah, they're nice, Steve, the C-curves. J-curves are nice as well, mate. Yeah, I was saying, I, I spoke to Paul 10, 15 years ago, I think it was, and I came up with a, an idea of a, a casting video for the TV where you could cast in the living room and put the picture on the TV. You could adjust the, the settings for the wind directions and speeds and God knows what else. And I asked Paul if he'd develop the book section for me uh, so they could put the electrics in. I got in touch with, I think it was Sega, I uh, got in contact with Alan Sugar. Uh, he passed it all through, would it be a good seller? I said, yeah. I said I'd be a millionaire now if it had kicked off. But at the time I didn't, or I couldn't get the finances to fund it. Uh, and nobody, nobody has ever come up with the idea. I put a copyright on it. Uh, basically, it was a book with the uh, with the button on the control, with the uh, with the reel on. You know, you put reel on, and on the end of the book, you plugged the different coloured leads in the top. Your yellows, your blues, your reds, your whites, and it came up on the screen. It was like a golf course, but it was a casting court, and you could set the different wind directions and turn it round, and it was all marked out like it would be on an original casting court. And uh, you stand in front of TV, and uh, you do your cast, and you could set it and it'd show you how far you was going, like the golf ones that they do on on the uh, games when you hit the ball and you see the ball going off. Well, this was very similar, you could see your leg going off, but it helped you how to cast with your arms and positioning and stuff like that. But it was all going to be made in China. Uh, like I say, they put the things through and everything through with Sega. Uh, that was doing Sonic the Hedgehog, I think, at the time. But I didn't have the money to fund it. Yeah, we should have got there, Steve. I'd have been, uh, I'd have been a millionaire now, mate. I've still got all the paperwork at home and stuff you know for it still got the copyright for it and everything but one of them things it was having the money at the time it was it there was one thing just short of twenty seven thousand pound hey dev thanks for coming on mate they really worried about twenty seven grand to set it all up That was for me to set my half up and pay Alan Sugar for him to copyright it and God knows what else. And so yeah, 
Uh, it'd been brilliant. Could have done it anyway. You could have put it in the garage, plugged it into a TV like you would with a PlayStation and stuff. Uh, you set the court up. It was all marked out up to uh, 300 yards. That's all turned over the top of me. Straight over the top of me. We watched me run to go like mad now when he reels in. Yeah, that was the plan. They okay, so you just uh, plug the uh, leads in at the top of the butt. There was a nice slim butt and then it went to like uh, the shape of a tip, but it was about an inch and a half on the end. And you plugged the different plugs in and it picked it up on screen. You know, casting 175 or 200 gram or 150s, uh, 100 gram. And then you set, you set the uh, the wind direction and which way you wanted the court, and it came on in front of you on the TV. And when you casted, you could see where the lead was actually going to and how far you was getting. But it was more for practicing. Cracked idea, but never, never took off. Come on, there's got to be something out there now. So it's two eleven. Does it fish better on high tide here? There's some big waves out there. Microphone. I don't know if you can see there or not. A big swell on it up in front of us. Waves are static coming over the wall further down to the left. It's a big tide. It's pulling like mad before. So we were showing then, it's a sea duck. So I keep falling out of the rain. Come on, fishies. Oh, the wind's not in the microphone. And the pictures are alright for everybody. Steve Pudsy said, Are you, Ralph? They are the big ones this week, Steve. All big tides. Ralph was on about fishing further down. I said, No, I said, When the tide comes in, it'll let that one come over. And that's what it's doing at the minute. Anybody stood there, they're going to get soaked. Come on, fishies. There's got to be something out there, God. Nice big bait, son. Is it Ralph? It's coming over ball down further down to my left here. So I thought I'd come up here out of way. With it being the northwest, it's gonna blow the tide down to the left. I don't know if you can see it in the background there. So yeah, turn this round, you might be able to see the tide coming over the wall. Uh, there's Ralph's van there. We we'll lose just in front of Ralph's van. Uh, just behind the front of Ralph's van, you probably see the tide at the wall and come over. I 
will not mind Ralph's fishing with his shorts on. He must be mad. The wind seems to have dropped a bit. And again, there's much uh, wind on the tip. It'll probably die down a bit anyway once this tide comes in. Three quarters of an hour to go now. I'll be here till about half past twelve. I bet it's rough down there, Ralph, for the minute, isn't it? All road. Really big tides. John and Gaynor had out yet, Ralph? Any bass come in or is it too rough for them? Okay, I think they had it better off with the 27, 28 footer down there for the bass. Fishing the uh, right hand side of the Coast Guard station. If you've seen that wave then come up over the wall, further down, and again. Alright John, thanks for coming on mate. I told you down there they'd get the waves. Yeah, no, it's yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, I thought I had a bite before. I had a bite before. Yeah. Yeah, Pudsy said hello before. Who? Pudsy, Steve. Pudsy, I'll go yeah. 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 Um, well, this time yet, Ralph, it's yeah. three quarters of an hour yet before I. Yeah, I'll, I'll just want to tell you. I can't say, I'll send you. No, no, I'll send you, say, like, you, no. you're blanking your bone, you catch me, sure. It's yeah. peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. That guy's packed <coughs> up with God, hasn't he? Yeah, the little. Yeah. Man, that's so is. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's a little channel here just in front of us, about 30, 40 yard yeah, out. Yeah, that's really isn't there? You put it in there, you'll, you'll get your bit. Flounders and flatties yeah, and. Right, yeah. yeah. I'm not getting my soul. Yeah. Nice soul. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just have another tap. Yeah. I was just going to say to my mate, you said you had all them fish yesterday. Yeah. I was going to say, well, yeah, got one and bring it and I'll have it from your supper. Yeah. Uh, didn't hear no more. <laughs> 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 Because he knows... Like you say, he's probably showing you the old folks. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. he knows I've got the camper van, he knows I've got the cooking <laughs> there, so, you know. <laughs> Sandra gone back for a rest. She, she won't going to come out until I no. said... No, she's I, suffering with the wagon, I, I said to her, I'm, I'm going to get me, I'm gonna go and get, get me breakfast. Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> 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 get me breakfast. <laughs> Where did you go for it? The cafe up here? Yes. Well, we... New Peter took it up, they've done it up real, real nice. Yeah. You know when you get sticks and rock? Yeah. Just up. As you go up, yeah. the first set of like, crossroads, yeah. you, you'll get a, a, I think it's a co op of Morrison's. Yeah, yeah, I've on seen the right that. hand side. Yeah, yeah. Just right across the road from there, on right. the other side. Right. Nice little cafe. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Well, I would have to give you two egg, two egg, two pieces of bacon, uh, two sausages, beans, two. Uh, as browns, yeah, and four, uh, two slices of bread. Yeah, Sandra had her uh, two cups of tea. Sandra had the um, toasted egg and egg and bacon sandwich. Yeah, I'm not eight quid. It's not bad, is it? No, because you charge about one pound fifty each for a cup of tea. Yeah. Now, that's yeah. three quid. Well, I came in from back end of you know uh, Tangerine's Club, you yeah. know the yeah, yeah. football ground. I came yeah. in that way. But well, they've changed it all now where the coach place is now. You can't you used to be able to drive up and come up where the arcade centre is, made it all one way. You've got the wall room back you, you, at town. You come out, you, you, yeah. you come out top of top top of Dixon Road. Yeah. Yeah. Come down Dixon yeah. Road. That's yeah. where I go back if if it's five o'clock or anything like yeah. I ain't going for it. Yeah. yeah. There we go, another tap. 
Nightmare, weren't it? That yeah. road work should have rolled off. He just wound it. Took us all, <laughs> took us all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't tell us anything. No. Did like, no. Until we got to it. No signs. So no. you actually got on top yeah. of it. Said road calls. Yeah. I wonder though, because when we went past, Dave Boz just said, "Hey, there. Ralph, too." All right, mate. Yeah, you're off there, Ralph. Oh. Where we go? All right, mate. Just leave it. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. They said it was going to be nice sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Winds up to 14 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, well. Bright sunshine up to dinner time and then heavy rain after dinner. If that was a southern forecast, mate, you'd have got it right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait till tonight to see if we can batter uh, the thingy for the cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Looking forward to that. Hey? You've not got it on? Nah. Oh, no good. That's no good. The fitter man than me, he's got his shorts on, Ralph. Oh, it makes me cold looking at him. Oh, you can see them waves coming up over the wall, just in, just behind uh, Ralph's van. Oh, got wheat coming in now. It's coming up the line. Weed coming up the line. Oh, that's what's tapping on the rod. I'll get this one in and then get another one out. Give it five minutes. Get a fresh one out. That will be it till about half twelve, and then that'll be it. Nothing's going to come in after I tide then. So I don't know what it fishes like here. I've not fished down here for years, so I don't know if it's an hour before. Hour after, two hours after, two hours before, well it can't be two hours before because I've been here since. Started fishing at uh, 20 to 9. It's got to be weed that, got to be weed. I'll get this one in and I shall get another one out because I keep getting a tap on it and a pull. Nice one Steve, well I hope you get one mate. I hope you get one. Just move the camera there because we're trying to keep the rain off the uh, phone. We've got weed coming up the line. I won't be a minute folks. Get this one in
leg going out. Just uh, bait this one up.
deep out there now, the line's not even holding bottom the lead. And there's weed coming in at the minute. Or the muck at the bottom. Let's turn this around a bit out of rain. There we go. So it was sposhed over the wall near Ralph, just the other side of Ralph. Top. So I wouldn't be playing with weed for a while. <coughs> At least it's not bouncing, bouncing down, we've just got a slight drizzle at the minute. At least it's not bouncing down. Otherwise I would have called it a day. It's pulling at the minute, it's probably that weed out there. There's quite a lot of weed on top of the water. I've seen a bit on the line. <coughs> I expected something to come out with this big tide. It's deep enough for them. So I've had to put my rod sideways uh, in front of the car because of the wind. I'm boiling like mad before on the tip. and black the next uh, cast. We've got black and squid on at the minute. There's some fish out there that you can smell that big bait. Hopefully a tulp. A nice big bass. a bit on the tip, it's probably weed on the line with the waves. So, Casting about 110 yards, but it's taking a while for the lead to get to the bottom because soon as it's the water, the tide's pushing it over to the right hand side. On the camera, then waves in front of Ralph's van coming over the wall. The guy outside, remember, he's wet through. I said to Ralph this morning, come up this end because we've been in northwesterly, I'll blow it down to the bottom there. So they get the worst of it at the bottom. Have a double me because uh, the guy 
guy that we've talking to Ralph at the minute, he said, oh, I know this lad, I've seen him before. Uh, I go fishing somewhere, I said, no, I've never been there in my life. He said, well, you've got a double. I said, well, my dad was in the Navy. <laughs> Thought some of it would have come out by now. They're coming over there, Steve, further down. I don't know, middle of May, near the end of May, and we're wearing gear what we usually wear in the winter. Crazy. Crazy weather. Come on, bang down. Nice sound. Don't mind if we catch a dogfish. A couple of taps earlier on where and that's it. Mad on your bait. It's a spot I don't know very well down here. So I've not fished it for years and years and years. So I'll give it a go today. Hi there, Steve. <laughs> Ralph's chucking out, he's going about 40 50 yards in front of him. So as soon as it gets in the wind, the lead is just throwing it right over to the right hand side. I must be losing at least, what, 30 40 yards today. Hiya Steve, thanks for joining me. Nothing at the moment. We've got another 25 minutes before I I'll get it to half past 12 and that'll be me for the day. An hour after. After I there's hell of a lot of muck coming through at the moment. Just see if I can get the camera over the top and see all the muck coming in. Further out there's weed and god knows what else. Just had a bit on my line. Swell to the sea. Right big swell to the sea today. I'm trying to keep that window if I can. Come on, fishes, we're out out. Nice deep water. A load of weed on my line. The Gim Walls, Simon, today at uh, Blackpool, right? I've not fished down here for years. I 
was saying earlier on, I don't, I don't even know where it fishes down here. Uh, I do more up the other end, over at Rossell, uh, Cleveley's, Gimwall, uh, not Gimwall, sorry. Hi, Tony, thanks for coming on, mate. I do over uh, Cleveley's, uh, Five Bar Gate, Rossell, and just this side of uh, Fleetwood. They're using my spots. I've not fished down here for years, so I, I don't even know what it fishes like here before, or after, what tides, what they catch. I've not got a clue, mate. Cold today, Tony. Rain this morning, we've just had drizzle again. Weed coming through at the minute. Uh, we had one bite that was earlier on. Well, I think it was a bite. I don't know if it was a bite or it was weed coming through on the line. But yeah, it's nothing to what they said the weather was going to be like out, out at sea. There, it's it's blue skies. Here we've got grey skies. You probably see it on the picture. But it's mad. Casting seven ounce, it's going in and it's taking like five or ten minutes before it'll settle. I'm pulling it down to the uh, left there, I think I've got a bite on. We'll give it a minute. Let's just give it a little tug, unless it's weed. Just slight taps. There we go again. If I put this rod sideways, Tony. It is Tony, that brown stuff, it's horrible. Uh, I say I've put my rod sideways, I can't put it straight out to what's here because it's pulling like, well, bouncing like mad it is. I pulled it across in front of me to the side of me. I had some on before Tony, it's horrible stuff. And the seas are chocolatey browny colour. This would be ideal for the winter, it would be ideal for the cod this weather, this water. I'll just turn this line up a wee bit.
Bottom now. Oh. Oh, where the fish are. Is it a bite? Or is it? Weed. Hey Carl. Thanks for coming on mate. A bite or is it weed? Go on.
I'd have built him by then. Oh, weed. Hey, Robbie, Robbie. Thanks for joining in, mate. Full of weed at the minute coming through. Yeah, I'm getting a bite next night's weed. No, nothing at the minute, mate. Nothing at the minute. Weather's well, been a tremendous this morning. I'm looking at my tip now, it looks like I've got a bite, but I just put a load of seaweed in. Crazy. It's like a winter's day. I can see weed on my line already. Mad. I was just leaving when it banged, just to see if it slammed down. Some loads coming through at the minute. That's got loads. It's been alright up to now, now it's high tide. Bringing all the mucked. You can see it out in the waves as well. Bits of wood and god knows what else. It spoils the fishy when it's like that. Oh, there's loads, Paul. Absolutely loads, mate. I didn't expect all this to come through, to tell you the truth. As you can see, I've just brought a load in. Banging on my line, I thought I had a bite on. You can see the tip of the rod, it's doing it again now, as if there's a fish on, but... It's just weed on the bottom. See it on the line as well at the minute. I'll leave it, I want it to really bang down, slam right down. I think I've got half a black pool coming through at the minute on, on the line. Say that was a fish, hound or a doggy or something, but it's not. Like a winter's day. See it. Weed! Weed, Ralph! A lot of weed going through. <coughs> For this one, I've just brought in. It's coming through, there was wood coming through and all sorts before trees and God knows what else. I do, Steve. Now look at my rod tip there now. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you swear down that was a fish. A fish on. I don't know if you can see that at all. Exactly the same as what happened a few minutes ago. About a ton of weed. Crazy. Oh, you want to see it here in front of us. Loads of the stuff. It's going to bang down a minute, that rod, because there's a big piece that's gone past. <coughs> there you go, there's that piece that's caught me line. Oh. Can't say if you've got a fish or what, all this lot's coming through. There's absolutely loads of it. Ralph! Look out in front of you, you'll see it, all the weed in front. Just down here, about 20 yards out. 
about 20 yards out. Loads of it, big clumps of it. Way of doing that was a fish on, but it's not. I'll reel it in a minute. I see all the weed on the line. <coughs> <coughs> over the top of the line, uh, over the top of the line, over the top of the weed. I thought I would have got them today, rubber doggies. I'm going to get this in again, be full of weed again on my line. It's all going past it in a minute, big chunks of it. Hopefully it might go after this, it's on turn now at high tide. So hopefully it might move on.
think I'll get me some crispy duck. I've got the seaweed to go with it. I'll do it. Seems to have passed a bit now. You will be, Robbie. When you next, when you're again, Robbie, is it weekend? Hopefully that wind's that weed's gone through with a bit of luck. I'll get some crispy duck after I'll take some home with me, crispy duck and seaweed. <laughs> There's mussels in that as well, so it's that bad it must be ripping the kelp off the uh, rocks out there and bringing it in. Seems to have passed now, thank God. Out there, usually before well, it's gone high tide now. We're at half like past 12. It's got me some out there, God. Crazy. There's a couple of chaps packed up, packing up behind me as well. I think they've had enough today. Going this weekend, are you, mate? Sea trout. I hope you get some rubber. We have a river near us over in Preston. I've only ever seen one sea trout caught. Don't have to jump out of the water. Like dolphins when you're looking to them. to be brightening up a bit now. It's supposed to be on like this this morning. Yeah, it's past now that weed. Can't see any in the water. Can see a little bit in the water. Too far out for me now, no water, too far to walk. I walk 50 yard now and I'm buggered. time I come here it'll be a night tide. Yeah they could be a pain them uh, rubbing them spider crabs. Nip through your mind don't they?
wind seems to have dropped now, thank God. Been blowing an early all morning. Opposite way round, they said in the morning it would be calm. In the afternoon, strong winds. It's calmed down if the tide's come in. Change again in a bit, next hour on the way out. Go on. Hopefully all that muck that's gone through, it's probably stayed the bottom of the boat where we can start fishing. There's some mussels in that lot that I've just brought in. It's been rough today as well, over in Liverpool. It's been quite rough and bad. John's over there today with Gaynor. We're all snipped over to uh, have a natter with him. The rod has gone out in the house, he's been stuck in the last few days, well last week or so. The rod has gone out and got a bit of fresh air. I thought it felt like I had a nice climb done. Well, you know, there's another guy going. So I'll give it to half past twelve and then I'll be off. The waves are certainly coming over in front, in front of Ralph's van. See him.
fishies. Even close in, Ralph's close in as well. He's getting taps on his rod with the weed. It's a nightmare. When you get down here, your uh, leg weight and your hook. Fish can't see it. Can't smell well, they can smell it, but we can't pick it up with the weed. Back down the line. Is it my first plant from Gim Wall? Ralph was saying that he was catching everything on low water this morning. People were going out on low water, fishing low water, getting the islands and bass. Loads of muck on the line. Loads of it.
that much pulling down in water at the minute. Alright Robbie, I'll be going off anyway mate, about half past twelve. Uh, good luck at weekend with your fishing. Uh, I'm hoping it's not going to be too long before I'm out again. A couple of things to sort out this next two weeks and then I should be back on track then. Going mad here for some I wonder if the mackerel are going past. It's weird, I'll get this one in, get this last one out now. For half an hour in there. That'll be me, I won't be a minute.
to uh, end the stream now and call it a day. It's just full of weed, absolutely full. It's all in front of me at the minute. It's pointless casting out and I'm just pulling weed in. It is weed mate, I thought it was death, just weed. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day Steve, it's just weeded out here mate. I'm just wasting bait and God knows what else. I'll, just, I'll show you on the floor, I'll show you what I've pulled in, look at all that. Look, it's just weeded out to hell. It's just full of it. So I'm gonna uh, call it a day. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the stream. I'll speak to you soon, Steve. Uh, we'll have to have a chat. Uh, we'll have a chat one day this week. I don't know if John's going on over at all road, but if it's out like here, then no doubt he'll be calling it a day as well. But I can, you can't fish in this, it's crazy. Next time I'll probably pick a smaller tide uh, and hopefully fish will play ball. But it's been bad from start to finish this morning with the rain and the wind and everything. Now I tried my best Dev. This is what I could do like I say, there's weed everywhere mate. It's just it's crazy, honest to God. Uh, when I tidy up I'm gonna pick this weed up and just Pass it through the hole here on the vent on the wall. Like I say, thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch all you this week, Steve Defo. Uh, thanks for having a bit of patience and watching my stream. Sorry there are no fish, but that's the way things go. I'm certainly not wasting bait. Uh, well, the water's like it is at the minute. And it's all new to me down here anyway, I've not fished it for years so I really don't know what the score is down here at the minute. But I will be fishing here again, probably a night tide, and see uh, see what we can get out. Alright everybody, all stay safe. Oh cheers Paul, well at least he's caught more than me mate. It's weeded out here Paul, if you can see it there mate, look, that's all I'm dragging in a minute. Loads of it, just sea seaweed. Oh, well, I'm going to come down again, Paul, soon. So I'll give you a shout. Hopefully, Ralph can get down here as well, and the boys. Yeah, I'm going to pack up now and get off. It's not worth fishing it like this. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Yeah, we'll do, Paul. We'll try it. We'll sort of tide out for the night and come down. Uh, I don't know if I'm in a good spot here where I am or what. Like I say, I don't know the gimbal. I never fish it. Very rarely I've fished it for years. But it's all trial and error, isn't it, on a new spot. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching. I'll take care. Speak to you all soon. Tight lines, everyone that goes out. And good luck. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.